Hello. This is I'm not gonna lie, my like third time recording this because of technical errors. But if you don't know me, my name is Scadro, and this is a question on practice test four. So if you have not done practice test four, please do not watch this video. Seeing questions on practice tests you done is not a good thing because practice tests are scarce and the only way to actually see if you're making progress in your prep. So please do not look at this if you haven't done it yet. Anyways, let's get into it. In the xy plane, a parabola has a vertex 9, negative 14 and intersects the x-axis at two points. If the equation of the parabola is written in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are constants, which of the following could be the value of a plus b plus c? First of all, first off, vertex. What is a vertex? A vertex is the lowest or highest point in a parabola. And a parabola can be rewritten in the standard form as given y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And now there are certain properties of the standard form which you need to apply here. We know the vertex is at negative 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 sorry 9 negative 14. And we know that it intersects at two points, which means it has to go like this. It has to open up. And how do we make sure it opens up? Well, we need points that go above it. So we need like one here and one here. And what controls that is actually the A value. But with the, Des the Desmos way to do this, we don't actually really need to concern about the properties of the quadratic standard form. But it's good to know. Just know that the A value controls whether or not it opens upwards or down, sorry, downwards or upwards. If your A value is negative, it opens downwards. If it's positive, it opens upwards. But you don't really need to know that for this problem. It's just knowledge that you should have. We know the vertex is at 9 and 14. And we know that parabolas or have an axis of symmetry which means if you fold it if you fold if you split it in half and you fold it onto each other it will be the exact same points now what does this mean well if you have values that are equal distance to the vertex so let's say in this case the vertex is at zero zero so you have a point to the left that's four um four units away and a point to the right that's for units to the right. So you would have x equals negative 4 and x equals positive 4. And a property that you can see is that these values actually have the same y value because due to the axis of symmetry, any two points that are equidistant from the vertex will have the same y value. Now using that knowledge, we can derive a potential a potential um, potential values for the standard form or in there's potential values for a b and c so we have the vertex 9 um, negative 14 and we know that it has to open upwards which means our values that we plug in has to be above negative 14 so we could use really anything we could use 2 we could use 3 we could use 8 let's use 20 doesn't actually matter what you choose and we know that has to be equal distant from the x value of the vertex so we could do 9 minus d to represent the point to the left of the vertex and we could do 9 plus d to represent the point to the right of the vertex and then we're going to plug in our standard um, formula of a quadratic that's given to us and then we're going to plug in a number for d so these are potential a plus b plus c values it could be it could be 2162 2, it could be 530 but we're not looking for an exact value. We're looking for what could it be. So in other words, when it says could, that means three values are wrong and one value is right. So we have to mess around with the restrictions to see what makes three of these values wrong. So let's try a really big number. Do you see how it's approaching negative 14, but it doesn't seem to touch it? You s you it Okay. It's rounding up. Desmos rounds it up eventually if it's long enough. Like for example, have you ever wanted 
a number uh repeating decimal in fraction form but desmos doesn't interpret it that like that well if you do it enough it will just round it and will estimate that you're trying to say one third which is what's happening here so this doesn't actually ever approach negative 14 it's just rounding up because the value of negative 13.999999 repeating was high enough where the computer, well, not really computer, well, yes, Desmos rounded it up. So it's never actually approaching negative 14, which means the value has to be greater than negative 14. Because if we go back, right, 10, 11, 12, 13, it's, these are all values greater than negative 14. So it can't be negative 14, and if it can't be less than negative 14, then that elimin eliminates negative 19 and negative 23. Plus, your only answer left to choose is D, negative 12. This is the Desmos way. This isn't the way that you're expected to do this. You're actually expected to plug in values and... It says it over here, but this is just the Desmos way. I would also recommend learning how to do it by hand, but for could value questions you could generally use desmos to derive it and in my opinion it is faster assuming you have the necessary conceptual knowledge to derive the equations anyways that's it i hope you learned something happy studying